Hello and welcome everyone to the conclusion of my Horus Heresy Age of Darkness box set journey. So here it is in its entirety. The Dreadnought is missing because I've sold it off. I don't need a fifth Contempt of Dreadnought. So yeah, took about, well, almost exactly two months to finish. A lot of conversion, a bit of kit bashing, and of course, tons of 3D printing as well. You can find all the relevant details and information in their respective individual videos. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. Here I have, of course, the main part for the HQs. Let's zoom in on them. Here I have the Axe Prater, aka Ferret Red Loss. The uh, Sword Prater I've converted to be the Legion Consul, and he could be literally anything, a Librarian, um, the Legatus, all that jazz. Here I have the, what you call him, Vigilator, a Master Signal on this side, a Librarian with Jump Pack, and yeah, and of course, this guy, he is Karn, not Karn, he could just be a Consul, or Predator with Plasma Pistol and Chain Axe, Power Axe, or just Chain Sword. I am gonna play being them as 40k War Eaters as well. So, yeah, Corn. The Bloody, he's entirely to invent it. Check out his video. Here I have Ferret Light Loss. Going quick because we have a lot of stuff to look at for the video itself. Here, the console. It is gonna be the Dark Apostle for Chaos Space Marine 40k as well, hence the two little sidekicks behind him. The Vigilator. Looking chump. As always, the Librarian the Jump Pack. Pretty nice, pretty awesome Lion Shoulder Pad. And we all know what happened when the Lion got angry with an Certain incident involving Chaplin and Royal Librarian. Here are the Master of Signal converted from the accessory sprue for the vehicles. Um, Mark II Space Marine printed out a pair of legs and voila! You got a little Master of Signal. So yeah, that's it for the HQ. Behind them are the... What you call them? Elites. They're just Cataphracty Terminators with... Chain fist and stone bolter. I wish I'd call them with what you call them chain axe, but they are gonna be 40k. I want them to be a bit different. So yeah, here is the sergeant that you can see a bit better in their details. Lots of printed shoulder pads, the head shoulder printed, 3D printed, not shoulder printed. The arm mounted bolter is something I went with for these 10 terminators, of course chain axe, because they are gonna be world eaters as long as as well as Dark Angels. Here's a guy with actual chin fist. So yeah, consistency throughout the force. Red shoulder pad. Um, mainly black and red. Red shoulder pads, as I said. As well as silver trims. A lot of little ivory cloths and details scattered around. So yeah, here's a guy with his fist uh, raised up, shooting away. One of my favorite model. Post Y for the Cataphracty. So, yeah, and that is for the elites. Let's turn our attention to the troops here. <laughs> A little bit janky, so please bear with me. Here are the 10 tactical squad, the tactical squad 10 men. Here is the sergeant looking very nice. And you're wondering why they have given you off a little bit of a shiny sheen. Everything is satin varnish. So, yeah. A bit shiny. I like them a bit shiny. Here is the guy with the Vexilla. Give him a sword. Looking a little bit cooler than just your regular old Bolter Marine. Oh, try to focus. That's him. Next up is the Vox guy. They all, I did give all of them the... Oh, let's zoom out a little bit. 
I did give all of them the chain bayonet. And here is one other guy. Oh, focus. That's him. Behind them are the 20, count them 20, assault marines. So let's take a look at this squad. On this side instead, here I have the sergeant. Converted him to be like Wally from the World Eaters, same pose and everything. Primary arm because I don't have enough plasma pistol. So that's him. And that's him. Let's take a look at this guy. Blazing away with his arm mounted bolter. Trying to make them look a little bit different. A couple guys is dual wielding, chain sword, and chain axes. Oh, that's him. A couple of other guys is with two arm, two handed chain axe as well. Heavy chain axe, as they're called. Oh, that's that. Let's take a look. One stair guy just blazing away with his bolt pistol. That's him. And last for the troops are the 10. Count them 10. Reconnaissance Submarine. Here I have V Sergeant looking very old and battered. I painted his eye patch to be like a scouter, giving it a bit of a different look instead of just an eye patch. His screen scanning the battlefield. They put a bit of accessory on them. The oh, there is a hair on there. Probably pull that out later. A auger or the signum array or something. Here I have the Second guy, this guy probably gonna be sergeant if I'm running them in 40k for a five-man squad. That's just a regular tactical, very cool beaky helmet, more edgy than the regular one. And let's just take a look at a, another one. Pretty easy conversion, just a suppressor, a scope, and yeah. Everything turned out very nice. So that's him. Fire wing, of course. I did forgot to tell them about you about the wings. The hexagrammatron, hexagrammaton, or hexagrammatron of the Dark Angels. So yeah. Oh, last but certainly not least, we have the Spartan assault tank with some doors. Oh, first thing I painted in the entire army. Turned out very nice. I did magnetize the front bolter, the inside, or the last cannon. I shoved them inside for easy storage. 3 printed doors, hatches, of course the quad, last cannon, sides. Yeah. Should probably tell you about the wings. The um these guys are Deathwing. Pretty easy. Pretty important. Deathwing. These guys are Stormwing and the guys up from the back are Dreadwings. Yeah, so yeah, that's it for this video guys. Thank you all so much for sticking with me throughout this entire little series of mine. So yeah, have fun, go slay the grey. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Till next time, stay safe. Stay awesome, have a nice day, and goodbye.